Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a Super C diesel that has 4x4 and an outside kitchen. This is the all new 2021 Thor Magnitude Model SV34. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited that we traveled all the way down to Tampa to take a look at this magnitude 4x4. But before we begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey guys! How's it going? Oh my goodness, it's going great. I'm super excited. If you haven't got to check out our mugs yet, bing! Oh. Hashtag mug life. Hashtag it mug life. We got we got new mugs that you can get and on the back of the mug it says hey andrea is this mug art deco and you can <laughs> no. get them now down in the description below also on our website let's begin model is sv34 but the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 35 feet 6 inches this is on the f550 chassis it has a 6.7 liter power stroke engine v8 330 horsepower and 825 foot-pounds of torque. I absolutely love it. I love what they're doing with the cab. Andrea, up front here, just look at these headlights. I mean, this is what I call a baby super seat because it's not that big freight liner. Look at that, look big, at that Ford. big old emblem. And listen, just because this is one of the smallest super seats out there, do not underestimate its power. Also up front, look at that. You have a seamless fiberglass front cap with a nice huge windshield. I absolutely love that. And there's no seams in the roof, it's fully molded. Nice. Let's say hi to those people. Hi. <laughs> they saw me in the lobby, they're big fans. Aw. Just check out these tires, Andrea. These are the Continental tires. 225-70R, 19.5. Man, those some shiny rims, huh? Awesome. Coming down the side, I do like this to get into the cab. You have a nice platform right there. In and out. Check this out. We would have been looking for this forever. Oh, yeah. Cargo carry capacity, 1,563 pounds. Coming down the side here, we do have an armless awning with wind sensor. The awning looks like it just got out of place that uh, we got to fix. It will be fixed, but I'm not going to put the awning out. And you do have frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome. Here's the storage. Now it's not the nice aluminum slam latch doors that I like, but these fiberglass doors are really nice and I love how they open this way. It makes it really nice if you want to put a nice cooler in here or whatever, big long chairs or anything. There's your 2000 watt inverter. Yep. Very nice. Right here, we do have a TV on the outside. I love that. With sound bar. Here is your propane tank. And Andrea, we'll have everything, all the specs and lengths and widths and everything that in propane tanks is down in the description below. Also right here, bing, for everybody who's watching on television. Very nice. And again, here's what, well, here's the power plug, but here's what makes this motorhome. It is a super C diesel with an outside kitchen. I nice. absolutely love this. Now it doesn't give you the grill, but it does give you right there a propane quick connect. If you do want to have a grill, you have a sink, you have a little soap thingy right up here, uh-huh. And then a nice little fridge. Nice. Very nice. I love that. And then right here is just going to be a little bit more storage. Very nice. And if you have any tables, you can put them all the way through. Andrea, right here, it's where you fill up your potable water. Potable, potable, potable. Coming around the back, no bumper for your stinky slinky. 10,000 pound hitch. This motor home, I think it can tow 10,000 pounds. Here's what I'm telling you. I know you can tow 7,500 pounds. If you want to tow any more than that, you got to check your GVWR and your GCWR, but I'm pretty confident you could do that. Always check your manuals before towing. You got your backup camera right there. 
And Andrea, we have a one-piece TPO roof. Let's go up there and take a look. All right. Oh, 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 oh snap. I did, I did twice. To stretch? Did you do stretch? Here we go now. <laughs> oh. Here we go. You got a lot of roof climbing today. Up here on the roof, you can see there is not one, but there is two air conditioning units. I absolutely love that. Right up there, you have your wine guard digital antenna. Places for fans. You got your fans right there. And then look at this. You have a 100 watt solar panel already on the roof. All right, take your time. Here we go now. One last step, last step. Oh, great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What is RV salesman's gonna take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> the guy was just driving by. Yeah. He was looking at me like, the hell's he saying? <laughs> <laughs> he don't know. Finishing up with the driver's side. Oh, this is locked. It's the other side of that storage. We got your 50 amp power cord right there and everything. Here's where you fill up your diesel fuel. Okay. Okay. Right there, we got a little bit of storage underneath. Oh, I like how there's light in the storage. Yes. That's very nice. Over here, here's your city water fill. Hey, Matt, I think we forgot to say the tire size. Uh, okay. LT225 70 R19.5. But I'm pretty sure we did do the tire size. Right there is your uh, dump station, black and gray tank, outdoor shower. Okay. Ooh. Tankless instant hot water heater. Here's another place to fill up your tanks. Very nice. And then right here is a Cummins Onan 6000 diesel generator. And right here's a little bit oh, more storage. Good. And to wrap it up, did not mention. You do have cameras on your left blinker, right blinker, and reverse. Very nice. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. And the AC is rolling. Thank goodness. Okay. Very nice. Slide is in. I do my little three. <laughs> are you hot am i sweating yes here's the walkway here look at that i like that plenty of walkway to get to the bathroom yes and as you can see there's the bedroom oh all right now andrea yes if you could leave down in the comments below let us know three things you like about this motorhome and three things you don't like about it the more people who comment and smash that thumbs up button the more people YouTube likes to promote our videos to. And guess what we like to do when people like our videos? What's that? We like to give promo codes for mugs. So if you go to teesprings.com, click it down under the YouTube video or go on our website, there, there's lots of ways to get there. And in checkout, if you buy a mug and, and use promo code MUGLIFE, Andrea, 22% <laughs> off. Woohoo! 22. That's a random number. That right? is a random number. I, I was going to say, where'd you get that from? Mug life. Hashtag it mug life. 22% off. Let's get started up here. Hmm. All right. Let me. Yeah. Look at this. That Whoa. is cold. I just got to show this. No, it's that not. It's cold. You should have left it on that for me. Oh, it's cold if you get up here. But, but I, I can't right now because it will mess up the microphone. But check out this cockpit area. Andre, slide in my co-captain seat. Okay, guys. Watch you gotta this. really maneuver this. You gotta maneuver in oh. the groovering. Yep. All right. Very nice. Oh, I like this. It's actually pretty oh. nice, right? Like, look at my legs. I'm comfortable. I'm like leaning back. I'd it's say nice. on my 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 one my four C's. Yep. I'm still getting used to it, guys. My four C's. I would say this is about a three C. Very comfortable. Three C. Three yes. C's. Okay, you got. Okay, so. Up I here, like look, I, I, I like how the mirrors are right there, or um, the screen. Mm. Oh, oh, there it okay. is. Yeah, it's just taking long. But you can see down your left side, right side in reverse. I love that. And I love how it's a good space place because, like, we're all, like, used to looking over there. You know right. what I'm saying? Um, Very nice. You know, this is going to drive just like an F-250, F-350 truck. 
and it is just very, very comfortable. And then you got your radio here, everything else. Okay, oh, did you mention the three cup holders? Oh no. Yep, three cup holders. Now up here, oh. there you go. You need some help. <laughs> oh, you got it by yourself. <laughs> now here's what I do like. Even though it's low down here, you have a huge bunk over the cab up here. I absolutely love this. It holds 500 pounds. You have this windshield that goes up and down. Look at the blue light that glows right awesome. there. Awesome. Very, very nice. Got a privacy curtain. Matt, does this seem like it's lower? No, it's like higher it's because that's lower. So it's I real like nice. that. It looks very roomy in there, doesn't it? Yep. Also, I totally forgot to mention on the outside, this motorhome has auto leveling, just like a Class A. You push a button and it's awesome. Awesome. You got a little bit of storage up there. I've got an opening for a fan, guys. Yep. And then over here in the cushion, in the sofa area, I do like it. The TV placement isn't the best, but believe me, it is not the worst. I've had a lot worse TV placements. We got the TV on the swing arm. Yep. Look at this. You got your daytime shades and privacy shades. Very nice. nice. Matt, look at that light fixture. Man, that light fixture. That's a sconce. It sure does look Art Deco. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at those nice cabinetry. Yep, very nice cabinetry. And, and I like what Thor's doing. Thor's kind of going away from that high gloss yes. to like a matted look. And I, I like think, that. Yep, looks fantastic. I can tell they listen. Over here. It's very interesting that the dinette's on this side. Double deco. Well, a lot of people like the dinette on this side. I, I agree. Because then you can look out at your campsite and say, hi neighbor. You can have beer right here while you're driving down the road. And if somebody hits the brakes, it's not gonna go flying. This does drop down to make a bed. You got your lights and speakers right here. And you even have cabinetry above. Nice, and Matt, you said you like that picture, right? Oh, double deco. <laughs> that is also very art deco. Cool. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome here is Two hundred and twenty-two thousand. Wow. Thirty-eight dollars MSRP. I did say it was a super seat. We have it discounted, twenty-five percent off, to one sixty-six nine ninety-nine. That is a phenomenal price. But Andrea, I can get you an even better price than that. Tell everybody what to do. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or check out the website mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there is a contact me page below. Andrea, let's continue the video. Okay, everybody. Here is the beautiful kitchen. Oh, look at this. I love this all service countertop in here. Yes. I like that there's a window right there. We got cabinetry up here with adjustable shelves. Adjustable shelves, I love it. Got a double sink. Ooh, double trouble. <laughs> double the dishes. Oh, yeah. You would say that, Matt. Very nice. <laughs> All right. And we got some storage under here. Oh, these are cute. Oh, nooks and crannies. Also, notice how. The heat ducts are in the side, not on the floor. I do like that. Me too. And underneath here, we got a trash can. Oh, that's an $83 trash can. Congratulations. You're a winner. <laughs> uh, we got a tower of power here. Oh, yeah. Like you did say, it was a slow rise. Yep. I do like that. And we got drawers here. This is great size drawers. Oh, yeah. Plenty of storage. Look at that. We got a convection microwave. Interesting side and backsplash. Nice. Okay, nice. so this is this is this is interesting. You oh. have a two burner cooktop, cooktop, propane, and then one induction. Very nice. And then we have more cabinetry. We got adjustable shelf here. Very nice in the fridge. And the Whirlpool residential that runs off your inverter. Is that the residential series? Yes. Like presidential series. Hang on, hang on. I missed it. My bad. Residential, presidential series. Yes. Okay. Cool. Wow. I now love this that pocket door on the bathroom. Is what I like. Uh oh. It's a 30 by 36 shower, folks. Wow. This is ideal. This is comfortable. 
I can drop something, pick it up, do what I gotta do, hop it, move it, and reverse it. I just <laughs> love this part. Um, okay, so we got a fa uh, fan up there. Fantastic. Cabinetry yep. here. Yep. yep. That's great. Towel holder. I like that there's counter space in here. Cute little sink. Mm -hmm. A little bit of storage. Yep. Or up here. Did I open that? You already did. Okay. Oh, Andrea, are you getting confused from the heat? I am. It's okay. I'm, I'm very confused from the heat. It's okay. We got a towel rack. Towel yep. paper holder. Cubby's there. Andrea. Let's see this toilet. I it's think now time for the toilet test. I, I would say, Matt, you're probably going to like this toilet. I think it's going to pass. What say you? What are we in? We're in a class C. We're in a super C. Which one? We're in the Thor magnitude. Magnitude, magna poo. Like <laughs> this is a prime pooping position. And I love it. It's just fantastic. And there's plenty of room. Look at that. So, like this is this is what it's all about. I love that. Great job. Good job, Thor. Okay. Inside the bedroom. Look at what's going on. I saw that. The bed is a tilted view bed. Off is it the, really? Yep, because it has a full wall slide. And when this wall comes in, the bed has to be up. Nice wardrobe. Okay, grab the two. Okay, you want to move through this way? Nice. Very nice. Storage behind the TV. Yep. Look at all those drawers there. Nice. I love that there's a window right there. Absolutely. And you got big drawers over here. Very yes, nice. Very nice. Two on the bottom. Okay. Very nice. Like the window. Uh-huh. I do like the window, so it's not so claustrophobic, and I like the window right there. Also notice how it does have the counters on the side. It and does. This is a king size bed with CPAP stations, so I really do like that. Um uh, and let's check out what's going on up here. Very nice. Very nice. Very over nice. Here, I like that you have storage underneath yep and one more and one over on that side you have hang more hanging space very nice and on this side you do as well great well andrea as nice as this motorhome is it's now time we give everybody three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it Andrea, what should we do first? Let's do three things we just like about it. Perfect. All right. All right. All right. Okay. We're going to do that one last. Dislikes. Dislikes. Do you... Oh. Dislikes are tough. Um, do you want to go first? Um. Well, you know... The only thing I really don't like about this is I feel like, and it's just little cosmetic things, Yep. but I feel like they could have did a better job on the side and backsplash. I concur. Because this is a higher end super yep. C. Yep. And maybe, um, you know. I mean, I mean, it's just old. Like I think they, this could have been solid surface countertop as well. Or, right. But, but like, like with that part, like it's just, yeah, you know. It's, it's just it. The backsplash is just it. Okay. I got number two and three. You ready? All right. Here's number two. As athletic as I am, even for me, it is yes. <laughs> for me to go from here. Look, I gotta literally like drop down. Now, once you're in, you're good. But yes. the reality is of this motorhome, I would mentally have it out of your head that you're gonna be doing this often and you just gotta go out and come yes, this way. Yes, I agree. So why don't you go out that way and I'll meet you on the other side. Come around. Body paint looks nice too. Yeah. Third thing I dislike is this wet base station. I mean, it re le really looks like slop that they just threw it together. Um, and you know, even the city water's exposed. Yes. They could have just had it all. They did such a great job with this motorhome. They could have all had it enclosed. in one wet bay. Yep, yeah. and enclosed and everything. Great. So that's three things we don't like about this motorhome. Now it's time for three things we love about this RV. Follow me. Oh. Howdy. Hi.
Love, 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 love. This outside kitchen right here. It is beautiful and awesome. And the fact that I'm able to show this to you on a Super C diesel yes. is insane. It's hard enough to get an outside kitchen on a Class C, let alone the Super C. That I've never is, seen it on a Class a Super C. It's fantastic. So that's one, two. You wanna do number two? It's number three, yes. it's gonna be outside. Okay. What I like about this, I like the dinette on this side. Yes, on the campsite yes. by the window. I don't, I don't see it very often. I mean, I hardly ever see it. Actually. Right, no, normally the time is the sofa there with yeah. the yeah. So I know a lot of people actually want the dinette on this side. Yep. So this is a, this is a pretty big deal for me. It's interesting, yes. and that's a great point, and I really yes. do love that. And then number three, it's outside. We going back outside. We going back outside. We're gonna finish up with up front. I absolutely love the seamless fiberglass front cap with the windshield, but more importantly, I love this F550 chassis. It's so cool and badass. Might be a pain in the ass to climb in and out, but for what this motorhome is and for what it's for, to be able to have a Class C, the safety features up up front if you do get into an accident, the towing capabilities, and for the price, this is actually a really great alternative, and I think it's gonna be a huge seller. Well, that's it, that's the review. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this RV, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my cell number. Or check us out online at mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page on the website. Andrea, do you have anything you wanna say? Yes! you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike, Thor does read the comments. So we appreciate everybody's comments and feedback. If you haven't gotten a chance to check out our mugs, ding! Oh! Make sure you do Mug Life. Hashtag it, it hashtag Mug Life. Hashtag Mug Life, 22% off. Yep. Oh, yes. and when you do the promo code, don't put the hashtag. It's just yes. Mug Life. Mug Life. And yep. we hope you guys are doing safe and you guys are well. And we hope you enjoy your mugs. Yes. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Andrea. Well, See you next time!